Stormy, two year contract extension. How uh, exciting is it to have, you know, solidified your spot here at the club for yeah, at least another couple of seasons after this one? Yeah, it's exciting. Obviously, been at the club for a long time. Um, you know, grew up here and, um, you know, been here a long time, like I said. So, uh, an extra two years, um, it's an exciting time for me. What's it mean for you to essentially be able to plan that you know that you, you're going to be with us for, for another extended period of time after, as you said, you've, you've already been here for a lot of seasons already? Yeah, it's always great to, you know, to have a contract for a couple of years. You know that you're going to be here for a while and, um, you know, you can help the team improve and, you um, you know, we've got something exciting going on uh, under Jackson uh, with, uh, you know, good young players coming through, a mix of some experienced players. So, um, you know, we've found a good run of form lately and, and hopefully we can take it out for the rest of the season. So, um, yeah, exciting to, to be on board for the uh, two more years. Bar a couple of seasons, you've essentially been here for your whole A-League career. What's the, the club in the Central Coast region mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. Like I said, I've moved here um, at 20 years old and I'm now 30. So... You know, um, done a lot of growing up on the coast. Um, played, you know, essentially my whole career on the coast. So, um, you know, uh, uh, to be part of the sort of Mariners culture and the Mariners club um, for, for the amount of time I have means heaps. You know, and to to go and, and wear the wear the shirt with pride and and um, be part of this club, it's it's a great feeling. We've just come back from a, a trip to the Philippines. Tough conditions, tough pitch. Hot. Was, everything was sort of against us, but how pleasing was it um, for the squad to be able to come away with three points and um, to be able to secure safe passage into the next round? Yeah, it's always a tough place to go. Um, you know, the weather conditions and the pitch were you know pretty pretty tough. Um, the boys done really well. You know, we the plan was there to you know tough out a result and get through the next round, and, and that's what we have done. So I'm um, very proud of the boys. You're naturally a leader in the squad, you, as if. You know, we've said you've been here a long time. How, how does it feel to, to have that, you know, leadership in the group? As you said, we've got a, a young squad. How does it feel to sort of be, yeah, one of those guys that can lead the younger generation? Yeah, it's sort of a, uh, a role I've sort of grown into, obviously, with age. Um, as you said, we've got such a young team and, and um, you know, to, to be able to influence them and, and, you know, sort of lead them along the right path is, is something that I'm, I'm proud to do and, and happy to do. Um, so it's exciting times, you know, a lot of young boys have got bright futures, so, um, you know, to, to just help them in any way I can is a, is a, is a big responsibility and um, I, I love doing it. We've had a, a one night layover on the Central Coast after the trip to the Philippines and then we're off for, for Melbourne and then, then Brisbane. Looking forward, looking to Melbourne, what do you sort of expect from, from that team? Yeah, it's always tough, you know, the grand final rematch, um, they'll obviously be out looking for uh, revenge. Um, and we're coming off, you know, uh, tough travel, but, you know, the boys are feeling good. We're ready to go. We're, we're confident. Um, we've had a great run of results lately, so we're going to take that into the game and, um, you know, full of confidence going down there. As you said, you know, we've, we've had a really good run of form lately. Um, had a little bit of a tough start to the season, but we've really picked it up. What do you put that down to, um, you know, that, that uplifting result? Um, you know, I think, I think we always believed in, in what we are doing, even though the first four games was tough tough results we, we knew would come together and we stuck to our plan and, and you know we trained hard uh, day in day out so we knew it was going to change and you know we, we finally got um, what we deserve I think in the last four games um, and we just need to keep building on it and, and take it through to, to the next uh, next round. Last one for me so uh, uh, you know big period of, uh, away what does that sort of do for the group having you know that that extended time together as a coaching staff and as a, a playing squad three consecutive games away? Yeah, it obviously brings you closer. You, we're already a, a tight-knit team, you know, with a, a great culture. So, you know, spending time away, you know, you just build on that. And um, all the boys, you know, sticking together, it's, uh, you know, you can have some fun, but by the end of it, uh, you've got to get down to business and get results. Just to talk about yourself, Stormy, uh, obviously seven seasons there, I think it is, and nearly 200 appearances. Have you got one that sticks out of particular fun memory? I think definitely the grand final win, um, you know, makes it all worth it. You know, the tough times we've had at the, at the club and, you know, to turn it around and be part of a team that, you know, finally lifts the trophy uh, 10 years after doing it the first time, um, you know, it's an unbelievable feeling. So that's that's going to stick with me for the rest of my life. And a favourite goal, maybe? Favourite goal? Um, probably the one and only one I've scored at Central Coast Stadium um, the other week. Uh, I'll take that one. I don't score too many, so. And then uh, just looking forward, obviously, two more. 
big milestone recently, the 150, and I don't know if you're aware, but your fifth all-time appearance maker for the Mariners. Uh, what does the next two years hold, and what are your ambitions? Um, yeah, obviously very proud to you know have those accomplishments. Um, you know, just to grow on them over the next uh, couple of years. You know, hopefully hit the 200 games for the club would be a huge honour. Um, you know, I think I'd, I'd be behind uh, uh, Hacho and Simo then. Um, so yeah, that'd be a, a proud achievement. And you know, just to help this club uh, get more success. You know, another grand final win would be amazing. And you know, help the young uh, the young boys come through and you know move on to, to bigger things. Hopefully.